Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at a question that continuously comes up. And whenever I talk about in Lightroom Classic that I've you know been using one catalog now for years and it just makes my life so much simpler because I can also sync images to the cloud and I don't have to worry about which catalog is open, so forth and so on. People always ask, how do I combine my multiple catalogs into one? So that's what we're going to focus on quickly. I'm just going to show you the scenario and then show you how to fix it. All right, let's dive in. So when I switch over to my desktop, you can see my main catalog. This is what I, the one I've been working on for years. It's got 259,946 images in it. No performance issues. Love it. I, I just love having everything in one catalog. Nicely organized with collections and I can just find anything I'm looking for because I don't have to worry about multiple catalogs. However, if I go back to the operating system, uh, back in the day, I used to have at least three or four catalogs. Now, these are not my old ones, but just I created these for example. So I used to have a, a portraits catalog for all my portrait work. I had a, a Adobe catalog for my Adobe work. I call this one client work. And I had a travel catalog. I just had all these different catalogs for all these different reasons. And the problem with that is you can't have more than one catalog open at one time in Lightroom Classic. So if I wanted to switch to a different catalog, I have to go open the client work catalog. And that's going to quit Lightroom and launch it back again and there's my client work and now i don't have my portraits so if i wanted my portrait catalog i'd have to go and open my portraits catalog and again this is okay for people that have a reason to keep things separate but in my case i kind of needed them all together because you can only sync one catalog at a time with the cloud so if i turn on syncing on this catalog then it turns it off on my other catalog so let's, let's just solve this problem. Let's combine all these catalogs into one. So we're going to start with, now you can do this one of two ways. I recommend creating a new catalog that's going to be the basis of everything. Or you can pick one of, the, one of the multiple catalogs you already have and make that the new basis for everything. Your choice. But I'm going to go ahead and just simply say, oh, not open. Cancel. I'm going to say new catalog from the file menu. And I'm going to make this new catalog. I'm just going to call it affectionately my catalog. So that way we know that's the new one called my catalog. Now you might also stick a version number on it. We're on version number 11 for Lightroom Classic as of this recording, but it's, it's up to you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click create. And what that will do is it created a new catalog folder in the my catalog and if lightroom doesn't open back up with that new catalog just go ahead and click it and it will launch with that new empty catalog all right and there it is my new empty catalog and it's like turning things on for the first time and it has um nothing in it because this is the new empty catalog i just created now i want to get those other three catalogs into this one now before we do that i just want to point out something let's go open up the portrait one one more time so let's go to portraits and now that I'm in portraits, let's say that I go to the um, to the Kiana folder and I make some edits. I make some changes because this is the thing that people always wonder. Will they lose their edits? Will they lose whatever? So let's say we make a virtual copy, first and foremost, of this one image. Then we go into the develop module. And then we go in and we make it, um, let's go to basic here. Let's, let's say we make it a black and white, just so it's nice and visual that we made that change. All right, I like that black and white number one. And uh, also we'll go ahead and crop it. So let's go ahead and crop it in uh, just like that. All right, so now we made a big visual difference and we'll go back to the grid and that virtual copy stands on its own. We still have the original. We can go make changes to any image we want. All right, so now let's go back to our new empty catalog one more time. For the last time, my catalog, our new empty catalog, and there it is, it opened and it's empty. And now to get the portraits, the client work, and the travels catalog, travel catalog all in this one, we're going to go up to the file menu. And you have to do them one by one. You can't do all three at the same time. And we're going to say import from another catalog. That's the beauty of this. Is it leaves your other catalog alone. Your other catalog remains independent. But you can go to your portraits catalog or whatever you called it and choose that catalog. And it will ask you even 
you want to bring in everything you want to bring in all of these photos yes i want to bring them all in i want to add them to this catalog without moving the photos the photos will stay where they always were and then i can just go ahead and click import and it will do that it brought over the collections if we go to kiana it brought over the edit it brought over everything now we just do it again file import from another catalog we go choose the next catalog in this case let's do client work since it's at the top let's go ahead and open up the client work yep i want to bring it oh but you know what I, i'm not working with um this person anymore so I, she's great I, I am working with her but i'm just saying for the sake of example i can turn off ones i don't want to bring in so if there's work you don't want to bring in then you can not bring in that work so it brought in my instacart um album and uh, this is where Instacart is located in Atlanta, just one of the buildings they happen to use. And I brought that one over. Great. So my Instacart collection is there. All my folders are also there. So they're referenced. So now let's do one more. Let's do the travel one. Import from another catalog. And then let's go to multiple catalogs and let's do travel. All right. Yep. I want to bring in everything. All 5,000, all 5 million, how many ever photos you have. And now they're all in one. All right, so I got my travel, and I can, by the way, put these in collection sets. I can separate these out. I can do whatever I want now that I'm here, but I've got all my images. I can go to all photos, all 56 or 56,000 or 56 million. How many other images you have, they're all here now in this one catalog to edit, to organize, to output, to put together in your new collection. So, for example, I can now make a new collection of my favorites. So I like that one. I like the Statue of Liberty, I like the Eiffel Tower, and I like this image uh, of models. All right, so now I can make a new collection, create collection, favorites, include those uh, images, and create. And now for the first time, I've got images that used to exist in three different catalogs, now in one catalog to organize and output and do whatever I want. And now if I were to go turn on syncing, which I'm not, because again, this is not my main catalog, I could start syncing and I would be able to then choose the collections that I want to sync. There would appear check boxes next to each one and I could appear, I could sync those up. Now, last but not least, let's go back to the operating system one more time and when we're done. So then people always ask, well, now that you have the new My Catalog version 11, can I get rid of these? Can I get rid of these three? Yes. It's up to you. Those three have nothing to do with the new catalog anymore. Once you import, they're not connected in any way. You can discard them at any time. I recommend that you wait a while, make sure everything's working the way you want, make sure you got them all in. Chances are you do, but just in case, give it a minute, give it a week or two, and then you can go freely delete those other ones once you're satisfied that your new collection, your new um, catalog, I should say, has everything in it that you want. So that's it. That's how to combine multiple catalogs into one. To answer that question, it keeps coming up every time I do a class, every time I do a, a conference. People always want to know, well, how do I do it? Can I delete them? Does it bring over the edits? Does it bring over all the organization that I did in the other uh, catalog? Yes, 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 and yes. And yes, you can delete the old ones when you're done. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.